quickly. Oddities of the school. I know, I think Danielle was maybe a sophomore. Danielle, Danae, Jaden's class. It's been a long time. It was when Emily Carasoni was a freshman. I do know that, so almost five years. Yeah, so no current players unless we were here. Yeah, I don't think really so. Um, and I, I can remember telling Tina that that could be her best team ever when they got older. Mm -hmm. And that was the, the senior class from last year. So they really, they really did uh, improve and get better as they, you know, aged. What's the ticket situation now? We got so lost two days. Yeah, I think it's less than 400 now tomorrow. And Saturday, Sunday are completely sold out. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be kind of exciting. Oh yeah, this could be the first three-game series ever that was sold out before the first pitch was thrown. Mm -hmm. And I think we've had a, a couple sellouts, but uh, not ahead of time with the whole. No, weekend. no. Which, where do you think the team is right now after a couple series that didn't go? I, I mean, I'm I'm really still pleased with them. I'm happy with them. I know it didn't go our way Monday night. Uh, even Saturday night when we were ahead one to nothing going into the seventh inning. Uh, it's just, it's unfortunate because they've worked really, really hard. They bought into the team concept. Um, you know, one thing we did on Sunday afternoon was we went to church, we went to go eat lunch, and we had a short practice in their indoor facility. Beforehand, I had uh, Nathan print out all 51 games from the year. And me and two other people went through, and I said, circle a poor start by the pitcher out of those 51 games. Two, South Carolina and a ULL. That was it. So, and I, I had all 51 box scores. I was on a, a, a chair, they were sitting in front of me, and I went through one by one. Great start, great start, great start, great start. And I, I didn't go to all 51, but I said, guess how many were four starts? And I think Caroline Hardy got it right. And it's just, they've done their job every single time. Um, Maddie has come out the last three weeks of midweeks and did a hell of a job. Um, and I said, it's not, we're not missing five hits. We're missing one or two, you know, one or two at the right time. And who knows what our record could have been, but it, we're that close. So I don't want them to think that it's like, you know, this far is about this far. The margin of error is really small. So it's the batters. <laughs> if we can get a key hit, you know, that, that's really what it's come down to, is getting the key hit at the right time. It seemed, it seemed like you got a key hit on Monday and then know. that whole exactly. situation happened. I mean, what do you tell your team after that? After that, I mean, you want them to be excited and everything, but you also got to get them refined to the Well, I mean, I, I'm not going to blame the kid at all. Yeah. It was her first SEC home run. She hit the crap out of it. She hit it about 260. Um, did everything we asked her to do against that pitcher. Um, she was excited. She was exuberant. She was going to celebrate with her teammates, which is the best thing about softball, I think. And um, she missed the plate. But <coughs> in all actuality, she should have been safe. You know, she should have been able to come back and touch home plate, and she would have been safe. And um, unfortunately, that's not the way it went. Then she's not allowed to walk. She's allowed to walk back like unimpeded. Like, yeah. Okay. They didn't do the appeal correctly. You couldn't, you couldn't. Yeah, as long as she didn't go into the dugout. You couldn't plan the protest? I said I'm protesting. And they didn't watch it? Well, they came back and told me what they thought. And then I guess I should have said I'm protesting again. But I didn't do that. I thought one time was enough. <laughs> and that's a little, a, go ahead. Tell me a little bit about Alexis. I'm, I'm really talking about her. Um, she, you know, Corona Angels, way out in California. Um, I gotta give credit to Van because she was the first one that saw her. It was a freshman fall. And I can remember when she came back to the office, she said, oh my God, I saw this kid. And you could hear the seams as it came into home plate. And she never really said that about anybody else because the spin of the ball was so terrific. She didn't like throw gas. The spin was incredible. So then I went out that summer, saw her again. And I can remember saying to her summer ball coach, I said, Marty, when am I gonna get a, an angel? And he said, dude, which one do you want? And I said, right there. And he said, get in line. <laughs> and I said, I am. And um, as the summer went along, that next fall, he said, okay, I, I told her. I said, I really want you to take a trip to Alabama. And um, 
he, he has a rule on his team that when you go to a school and you want to commit, you have to come back and give him five legitimate reasons why you want to commit to that school. And if you decommit while you're on his team, you're not on his team anymore. So when they say, I want to go somewhere, they mean it. So uh, she gave him the five reasons, and uh, the coaching staff was at uh, Longhorn. And um, I had my phone with me, and I had seven missed calls from her. And I looked down, and I had it on silent, and I said, you guys, she ain't calling me seven times to say no. And so I turned it back on, and she called back. And at the time, we had one, and she said, uh, Coach Murphy, this is Alexis Osori. I want to be the first pitcher at Alabama to win a national championship. I'll accept your offer. And uh, we went crazy in the restaurant. Everybody thought we were nuts, probably. And then that was the spring that we won. So. And you didn't have to worry about her due commitment when Jackie won one, right? No. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. No. no. But I can remember when uh, her mom and dad, Saban, talked to her. She actually sat in his uh, office chair, put on his straw hat, and he was at a meeting, and uh, Linda, the secretary, said, sit down, put it on, try it on, and everybody's like, oh, you look good, and everybody's taking pictures of her, and the door opened, and I thought I was gonna get fired. <laughs> and he walks in, and the whole room turns, and I, I'm like, my heart's beating, and, and all of a sudden, he smiles, and he goes, you look pretty good. <laughs> I was like, thank God. <laughs> and then he told everybody to sit down. He had 12 minutes, because he had it scheduled. He clicked the door, closed, and talked for 12 minutes. The dad was a huge NFL fan. They talked football the whole time. And um, I, I just think they, she was a great fit. Mm -hmm. And um, the rest is history. How long did it take you to figure out she had a personality? She doesn't, doesn't oh, project yeah. a lot, does she? No. I mean, even now, I mean, three words maybe. I'll ask how you doing, fine. I mean, that's it. It's, it was very similar to Danny Woods, mm -hmm. who played for us. I'd write it like this one page email and I'd get two sentences back or three words. I mean, it's, kind of, it's kind of like Lexi still. But she's, she's like a Kayla Bro, Kayla Hunt, where you'd never look at her and say, oh, wow, she's competitive. But inside, it's, it's churning big time. And I got on her uh, Monday night. I've really only gotten on her twice in her career. One time was at Georgia when she gave up a lead. And I really got into her. And she retired the last 19 in a row. And we won in nine innings. And then the other night, and she re retired 14 in a row until the two out, bottom of the seven, full count walk. That was it. Um, and, you know, unfortunately it, it didn't turn out, but she responds very well. Auburn's obviously pretty renowned offensively. Is there a way you pitch them up? I mean, it, different from other teams, is there a way you got to pitch them, be careful with them? Or? Yeah, I think, um, I don't think they're as explosive as last year, but I mean, I mean, Cooper's on Team USA still. I mean, you got to respect the heck out of her. I think if we need to control the leadoff, if we can keep her off the bases, because Cooper's in the two spot, I think those two do a lot of damage together. Uh, the catcher's having a really good year. Um, they've used a lot of people. So when we go through their lineup, we talk about, you know, 14 people. We don't talk about nine. So we got to re remember who everybody is, what they can do, you know, if they drag bunt, if they swing, if they slap. Uh, and just be ready for anything. They're not doing demo. She might pinch run. Uh, she's at the doctor right now. And uh, if the ENT says yes, she's going to pinch run. She's going to have to wear the mask. She's going to have to probably wear a patch uh, still. Um, but she could run. Patch over her eye? Yeah. I mean, I know she's she got a nickname no. for that? Or? <laughs> not yet. Is that a clear plastic mask or is that a it'll be, catcher's mask? No, it'll be a mask. Um, on the helmet, mm -hmm. and then uh, sunglasses or like Google glasses that are clear. Okay. So she hasn't cleared yet. At all. That's what she's, she's, the trainer is asking him today. And if she won't We're, be able to have a bat, I mean, what is just having her out there? Oh, it's going to be. I know it's going to be huge. I can't tell you how much. And I know I told the team yesterday that she might pitch run. I mean, it was like a. It was awesome to see everybody respond and react because. And, they know how much she misses being out there. And I think she will show everybody, if she gets a shot, how excited she is to get back on the field.
Can you imagine the SEC tournament maybe? Could be. Ball. Yeah, could be. She has taken some balls off tees. She's played catch. She hasn't caught the ball. She, it's like a quarterback playing catch with a receiver. Mm -hmm. um, she throws it back. But um, I could see her getting a mask and playing defense. I mean, there's almost every kid in Little League now wears a mask, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's, uh, that, this just comes down to vision at this point, yes. right? The right eye. Okay. And it's still, Aaron described it as um, almost like a, like an ocean wave a little bit, just mm -hmm. a little blurry. Mm -hmm. um, what about the signing to Juco pitcher? You believe that, oh, yeah. that doesn't happen no. very often. Uh, Robert second. Iron Murray, who his daughter played for us for four years, graduated in 14. He's the junior college coach at Florida Southwestern. And um, he told us about her last year. He said, Murph, you need to keep an eye on her. I think she was, I don't remember what her record was last year, like 31 and six, first team All-American. Um, he called me probably a month ago and said, hey, did you know that Courtney didn't sign in the fall because she had, I don't know what happened, there was offers, and, and uh, I said, no, I didn't realize that. And I said, when do you play again? And so I went down uh, April 4th on a Tuesday, and um, she beat somebody, went out to eat, and then she came up here, I think the next weekend, met everybody, and we loved her. I mean, you guys are gonna have a hell of a good time with her because her accent is something else. Um, our first international kid, and the dad is the head coach of the New Zealand national team. The sister is a catcher on the team, and the brother plays fast pitch uh, in the country. So it's probably one of the strongest softball families we've ever gotten into our program. And they they made nationals again, which is a really cool story because it's their first two years as a program, and they won state both years. Yeah, God, why don't you get here on time? Uh, traffic isn't fun. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. But uh, how vital is this series? You know, obviously, it's always, you know, it's all I think it's, course, it's but... huge for us, yeah. but it's huge for seedings, RPI, regionals, yeah. the whole, everything. I mean, it just, I'm not going to tell them that, but it's, it's bigger for all those reasons, too. Because usually right now, we know what we're doing. This year, we don't. And this is, I mean, I've said it almost every weekend, but um, it's, it's a huge series and it's, it could come down to us hosting or not. Almost here, all season. I know, yeah. I told ESPN this morning, I said, this is, this is going to be like a super regional here, especially with the crowd, the TV, you guys. I mean, it, it's going to be a postseason deal. Kind of like that at the end of the year. Not, yeah. not necessarily knowing what. Well, we, we haven't had them here. When's the last time they came? Auburn? Uh, Kara Sony's freshman year. 13. So it's been for us. And um, I know we're all looking forward to it because we've played there, you know, recently. Um, it's just going to be a great atmosphere. It's good for the sport. Thanks, guys. Thank you.